Now, the rescue ship, open arms, the team is saying Matteo Salvini must go to prison for leaving immigrants on the Mediterranean Sea for almost 19 days in 2019, August. In fact, this case has passed almost five years now, but Matteo Salvini is still running court up and down. The open arms are saying they want to fight justice for immigrants that Matteo Salvini left on the Mediterranean Sea in 2019. There were almost 147 immigrants on board. Matteo Salvini denies the open arms to drop these immigrants here in Italy. According to Matteo Salvini, the open arms is a Spain rescue ship. So when they rescue these immigrants, according to Matteo Salvini, they were supposed to send these immigrants to Spain. But according to the law on the Mediterranean Sea, if you rescue immigrants, you need to go to the closest port. And the closest port at that moment was Italy. So they arrived, but Matteo Salvini refused this open arms to drop these immigrants. There were almost 147 immigrants on board. They stayed on the ship for almost 19 days in August under the scorching sun. And these 147 people on board on 19 days was using only one water closet. Those who have passed through the Mediterranean Sea you know how the water closet looks like 147 immigrants using only one water closet for 19 days that is why they usually give you bread on board to avoid visiting the water closet regularly if you want to urinate it is okay for the other one you understand all of you cannot just go to the water closet and be doing that thing you understand so after this Matteo salvini has been running up and down in palermo and he risks to go to 15 years imprisonment for leaving these immigrants on the Mediterranean Sea because they are saying the case is a kidnap case. Now, according to Matteo Salvini, he is saying in a civil country, a person like Salvini has to be left out of politics. Tomorrow in Palermo, that is on the 14th of September 2024, the PM will say how much I should pay for defending the borders of my country resting up to 15 years in prison meanwhile the left are shameless showing themselves once again tolerant with those who think like them but liberal and blinded by the lie towards others embarrassing forward fearless and head held Hi. So on the 14th of September 2024, Matteo Salvini is going to Palermo to face this case again. By then, he was the interior minister. And according to him, he said he was defending his borders. Now, this is what the open arms are also saying. Saturday, 14th of September at 9.30, Matteo Salvini will appear before the Palermo court again for the open arms case. The former minister for the interior and the current minister of transport is accused of kidnapping and refusal of office records after preventing for 19 days 147 people, including minors, from disembarking from our ship in August 2019. His actions have been motivated as a defense of borders, but saving lives at sea is not a choice. It is a duty sanctioned by international laws and convention. Justice will take its course. So these open arms are fighting for justice for immigrants because these immigrants suffered under the scorching sun it get to a point a lot of immigrants were even falling inside the Mediterranean sea but this open arms try their possible best to save them and calm these immigrants down let's watch that video <laughs>
Dopo 19 giorni in mare tra emergenze sanitarie, cibo razionato e condizioni psichiche al limite, la soluzione arriva dalla Spagna. È il premier Pedro Sanchez a comunicarlo con un tweet. Una nave della Marina Militare Iberica salperà da Cadice in direzione dell'isola di Lampedusa per assistere la Open Arms, ancorata da giorni a poche miglia dalla costa italiana. Impiegherà tre giorni a percorrere 1875 km e poi accompagnerà l'equipaggio della nave umanitaria e i 90 migranti a bordo fino all'isola di Mallorca. Si tratta della soluzione più adeguata, fa sapere il governo spagnolo con un comunicato che permetterà di risolvere l'emergenza umanitaria entro fine settimana. Il procuratore di Agrigento intanto che coordina l'inchiesta di sequestro di persone e violenza privata oggi pomeriggio è salito a bordo della Open Arms. Insieme a medici e agenti della polizia giudiziaria ha voluto ispezionare personalmente la nave per verificare le condizioni dei migranti. Nelle ultime ore la situazione a bordo era diventata insostenibile. Queste immagini testimoniano la disperazione di questa mattina. Uno dopo l'altro, 15 migranti si sono gettati in acqua per cercare di raggiungere Lampedusa a nuoto. La guardia costiera italiana è intervenuta per soccorrerli. Un paio di loro sono stati trasportati in ospedale e gli altri sono stati trasferiti all'hot spot dell'isola e adesso sono in attesa di essere identificati. Sono cinque i migranti che hanno tentato di raggiungere a nuoto Lampedusa gettandosi in mare dalla Open Arms, ma sono stati subito recuperati dal personale di bordo. Ridotte al rango di zattere di salvataggio, le navi delle ONG vivono la quotidiana disperazione dei migranti con tutto quello che ne consegue. Pelea. Litigi. Violenza. Violenza. Panico. Panico. Crisi d'ansia. Cosa ci manca? Vogliamo i morti? Quelli che non sono morti in mare devono morire qui a bordo della Open Arms? Vogliamo questo? Spero che la prefettura si muova, ha detto il fondatore della Open Arms, Oscar Camps. Quando torna la calma il ponte diventa un dormitorio sotto le stelle. Intanto l'ispezione della procura di Agrigento ha confermato lo stato di emergenza della situazione sul Natante. Il premier spagnolo ha dato l'indicazione di un porto spagnolo perché Salvini è brutto, è cattivo, è razzista, irresponsabile di tutto. Avete visto dopo 17 giorni questa nave spagnola di una ONG spagnola che ha aperto la domenica mattina dandomi del miserabile, il miserabile ministro Salvini. E in queste ore le abbiamo viste di tutti i colori da questa nave, una vergogna. Dopo 17 giorni di mare la Open Arms non può raggiungere la Spagna nonostante l'invito del premier Sanchez. Le 107 persone a bordo non reggerebbero un altro viaggio. I hope you have seen the video, so that is what happens in 2019. I know a lot of you guys were part on this open arms rescue and this incident happens, but open arms are trying to fight for justice for these immigrants on that very day. Even though if this man did not go to prison, but he has wasted his time going to Palermo up and down, buying train tickets, you understand? At least some of these EU politicians will learn a lesson from that. According to Matteo Salvini, he was doing this to defend their borders, but denying a rescue ship is not the best way. So the open arms are trying their possible best so that this man will face the consequences. Let me know what you think about this video and the name remains official Cracker TV. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and be part of the family. If you want to send me a message on WhatsApp, you can follow me on my Facebook page, Official Cracker TV. Just click on my About You, get the WhatsApp number, just give me a message and I will get back to you. And guys, tap tap send. So remains the number one mobile app you can use to wire money back to Africa. Nowadays, we don't send money and pay commission or interest. Just download tap tap send on Google Play or App Store. Register your first transfer. Just add my promo code Official Niger in capital letters. Like this, they are still dashing you five euros, ten dollars, ten pounds, depending on where. You are if you are in the UK, America, anywhere in Europe, you can also use tap tap send to wire money to loved ones in Africa to put smiles on their face. Until we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and say bless. Peace out.